San Antonio. This is Raw for the Middleworks tonight. We are at Crown Plaza only to welcome one of the true goddesses of metal. Brings me great pleasure to welcome from the national metal community, Mistress Julia. How are you doing? Hi, Poppy. I'm doing good. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, my God. Every Mexico in the house, clearly. <laughs> We are uh, truly stoked to have you in the Alamo City. I mean, there's been a lot of people who've been talking about uh, you coming down, and I think a lot of people are starting to reconnect with you now because I think there's some exciting things on the horizon. But before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about um, when when the the relationship between you and Uranium kind of fizzled out. What did you do after that? What was the plan? What did you? What were you thinking? Um, I was thinking that my life was over. To be honest, I started Uranium when I was 19 years old. Um, for most people that have ever had a band that got signed and then <laughs> lost their label, that's kind of what it felt like when I lost Uranium. It was my baby. I started organic from the age of 19. I did it for six years. The reason I lost it is because Fuse hired another president and um, they just didn't really have the balls to go with the balls out metal, you know, metal show. When I lost it, I wasn't expecting it. Things were tense already, but I wasn't expecting it, you know, and um, it was heart heartbreaking for me, and honestly, to be real honest with you, I lost my mind. I had a nervous breakdown. Oh. It was a really, really big deal for me. Uranium was my little baby, you know what I'm saying? When that fell apart, my world fell apart. But you know what? I, that's when I found out who my real friends are. I, I interviewed every band that's in the extreme music industry at least six times. Half of those bands still called me and said, Julia, we know what happened. No matter what you need, we're here for you. The other half fell off the face of the earth. Now I'm back on Fuse doing a rock countdown. All of a sudden, some of these bands are coming out of the woodworks like, hey, 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 what's going on? And I'm like, whatever. All I got to say that I learned is it's, it's, a, it's a real rough industry. And for all you bands out there, I know what you go through, OK? And you know what? We chose a life that's not simple. The life of entertainment goes up and down, and you should always be ready to lose. But you know what? When you got it, and when you're on top, give it 150%, because it might be your only chance to give it all you got. And that's what I did. That's what I learned. And now I'm getting a second chance. People like you guys and bands are giving me support and love. It means the world to me in all my heart and sincerity. I'm very grateful. And um, I'm going to do all the best I can to stay on top. And whenever it ends, and it will end, because that's the life of entertainment. I'll throw my horns up and be like, suck it! Yeah, uh, you definitely uh, had the opportunity to stay connected uh, with the fan base even uh, after the show was over. I saw the, the spread that you did for um, Maxim and stuff and all these other things. So, um, and uh, you know, uh, I didn't have an, an opportunity to welcome you back to San Antonio. You were here at the White Rabbit. Uh, about a year and a half ago. So talk a little bit about those endeavors. I know that you're traveling across the country now and you're kind of like hosting and kind of staying connected to the metal fan base across uh, the US. Well, that's all I could have done at the point. Basically, when I lost Uranium, um, a lot of clubs and a lot of bands and promoters reached out to me. One of the promoters was Mike. That's my boy right here. He reached out a lot. Mike, Mike from MT Productions. We love you, Mike. A lot, of, a lot of people that still had love for me reached out and they were like, listen, we know you're not doing Uranium, but we need you to come out to our club and host these shows. Um, basically, to be real honest with you, that saved my life, that saved my career, and that left me with, with, with money to pay the rent. People that were still fans, that still had respect, and didn't care that I wasn't on Fuse anymore. They just loved what I did and respected me, reached out to me, and literally saved my life. I want to give a, give a big thanks to those promoters and those, those bands and the clubs, because hosting these kind of live events throughout the country um, saved my career, honestly. And, and, and... Um, that's what I've been doing since I lost my uranium gig. It's been two years, and my major, my major thing that I've been doing is I've been traveling the country, hosting major metal shows, and that has uh, really helped me out. And also, to me, the underground is where it all begins, you know. And I think a lot of uh, a lot of major stations, whether it's TV or radio, they don't pay attention to the underground anymore because that's not what makes them money. I'm not about the money. I'm about the fact that the metal community starts from the underground. And if you don't support and you don't respect the underground, then we got nothing. So I'm here and I do my Slave to the Metal tour to honor all the bands that are local that are trying and they're busting their balls to make 
fucking difference. And that's what I'm all about, and that's what I do. And I want to thank all those bands, all those promoters, and all those clubs that were there for me, even though I wasn't on TV anymore. That's what really matters. And that's when, that's when yeah. really stand out. That's when people show their real colors. When you lose your gig, and they're still there for you. I don't want to thank you all. You know who you are. Okay. I got questions. Julia, thank you. Uh, thank you for that uh, a, a really honest piece. Um, if I didn't know you better, I would call you Julia Gonzalez because you look like uh, one of the homies from right here in San Antonio. But, but, but hold on, let me ask you my question. As you visit different metal scenes across the country, you know, and, and you know, you're down here in Texas where like a Latin, uh, the Hispanic culture is very, uh, uh, you know, on the, fr on the forefront. Talk a little bit about how you feel uh, the different metal scenes vary from one to another as you go, as you hop around the country. I have found that the Mexican and the uh, American Indian community have been the biggest supporters of the metal scene, personally. That's the honest truth. Um, I really appreciate that. Every time I come through Texas or Nevada or Arizona or California, Florida too, that's where my real fans are. I mean... There's metal fans all throughout the country, but the Mexican and the American, you know, the the, the, uh, the, the Indian community has really been the biggest supporters of the scene and have never left my side. Did and I'm very, very grateful for that. Did you say Florida, like, is where you have the biggest response? Well, no, no, no. Well, Mexico, uh, not Mexico, I'm sorry, Texas, Florida, and some of California and Nevada is where I have my biggest fans. Florida... Mexicans. Florida has a big death metal scene, obviously, you know, with yes. Dia Side and Morbid Angel, Cannibal Corpse, six feet, uh, under. Six, six feet under, Tampa, yeah, yeah. Florida. Anyway, so I feel that the American Indian and the Mexican community has really shown me the most respect. Even though you get a little drunk, you get a little rowdy. Yeah. No, you cannot slap my ass. It is not okay. All that weed. But nonetheless, you have had those horns up in the air for me throughout everything. And you guys have never stop and okay. I appreciate that. Julia, let me move on. Um, as uh, we look into 2009, I've heard through the grapevine and my various uh, friends in the industry that uh, there are exciting things that are going to happen for you. I heard that a uh, contract has already been signed, things are going to be popping up and many of us don't even know about it. So please uh, share the news. This well, won't probably be on before those things happen. So you're not really spilling the beans in a kind of sort well, of way. There's a few things that we have. And first of all, Fuse, Fuse called me back and they asked me to come back. I'm not doing Uranium, but I'm doing a rock and heavy metal countdown called Countdown Rock every Monday. We got Me Megadeth in the back. Kill me, Italy, Max Miss Chunk. Anyway. Yeah, we only have um, 10 minutes here. All right, all right, all right. So... Also, Halo Guitars and I signed the contract together. I will be designing a guitar for the female, which is not pink and glitter. It's metal and dark and awesome. So I got a Halo Guitar deal. I'm back on Fuse. I got a tour called Slave to the Metal, where I come to your town and support your local bands. And um, I'm rocking out. Thank you all for the support. What else? What else? Am I missing something that you heard of that I don't know? Yes. Um... I want to, uh, oh my God, please control your girlfriend over here. Mommy, hold on one second. What? Talk to me. Talk okay. To me. Uh, as we end out this interview, first of all, I want to say that we're all, I think all the metal people here, uh, from various bands, not only, uh, musicians, but people who are very active in our community. Um, and hopefully, uh, you'll have an opportunity to come back to San Antonio and an opportunity to, uh, reap the benefits of our hospitality because... We truly love metal here in San Antonio, and we always, always, always um, give our best to uh, national artists, worldwide artists who come to San Antonio to visit. And like I said, I'm beyond grateful to the metal bands that had the balls to still stand by my side, no matter what happened with my TV show. And, and people like you, and promoters, and, and booking agents that didn't give a f that fuse decided to go PG-13 because I never did. And I'm here to keep the metal alive and so are you. And I thank you. Remember sitting to you, you saw the mistress, the keep metal, up. The, me the main metal goddess across the country right here, Mistress Julia on Rob's Metal Works. Be sure to go to her MySpace to get all the latest info. You can't send her a message, but you can definitely learn what's going on with her. Thank She's you. so busy all over the country. We love her. Remember, you saw her right here on Rob's Metalworks. Oh!